Welcome back. In this question, we're going to try to find the limit as x goes to 0 of uh, the quantity 1 plus the integral between 0 and x of cosine t minus 1 over t squared dt, everything raised to 1 over x. Here, a quick check. When we plug 0, we have the integral between 0 and 0, which is 0. And we have 1 plus 0, which is 1 raised to 1 over 0. That's infinity. And therefore, we have 1 to infinity. And therefore, we can't conclude. Note that this question is coming from Berkeley math competition calculus problems. So this is Berkeley question. Okay. Uh, math tournament. Okay, that means this one requires a bit of work. Okay, we can uh, solve it using uh, L'Hopital's rule, I think. Uh, and this one will require a bit of work. Okay, so the key idea is to transform this one to uh, uh, something uh, logarithmic or exponential. Okay, but we're going to do both of that. Okay, so we are not going to use L'Hopital's rule. We're going to use approximations by series. So here we're going to see that the series are very important to compute these limits and these integrals. So here we can transform this integral into the form. So it's going to be 1 e to 1 over x. The natural log of 1 plus the integral between 0 and x of cosine t minus 1 over t squared dt. And we can take the limit as x goes to 0. Okay, so if we treat this problem in this manner, we can, uh, we can uh, simplify the natural log of 1 plus this expression here. So here, x is a small. So this is the key idea. When x is small, we can uh, replace the natural log of 1 plus some u or some x by some u. Okay, so we know that. So we're going to see all that here. But first, we're going to integrate here. So here we have a problem here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to approximate the cosine t minus 1 over t squared by a series, and we're going to integrate. And once we integrate, we're going to approximate the natural log by some expression. Okay. And finally, we're going to take the limit. Okay. So here we know that the... Uh, if we want to approximate the uh, the cosine of t by some by by series, if, or we can express the cosine uh, around zero by its series as one minus t squared over two plus t to the power four over four factorial plus uh, other terms, or in general we can write it as minus one to the power k t to the power 2k over 2k factorial, k is going from 0 to infinity. Okay, But I'm interested in these terms, cosine t minus 1 over t squared. So here I pull up the 1 and I divide by t squared. So I get cosine t minus 1 over t squared. So it's going to be minus 1 half plus t squared over 4 factorial plus other terms. Okay, Now, if, uh, if I integrate, now we can integrate between 0 and x this expression. So I can do that. So here, let me do it in a different color. So the integral between 0 and x of cosine t minus 1 over t squared. Remember here that x is small. So dt is going to give me the integral between 0 and x of minus 1 half plus t squared over 4 factorial plus other terms. Okay, so here I'm gonna get minus one half x plus x cubed over three times four factorial plus other terms. Okay, here I see that when I plug this one here, I have the natural log of one plus this part here. So this is just uh, so. Okay, if we do it this way, 1 plus the integral between 0 and x of cosine t minus 1 over t squared dt. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, uh, 1 minus 1 over x 
plus x cubed over 3 times 4 factorial, etc. Okay? So if I take the natural log, okay, I'm going to take only this first part here. So here, the natural log of this quantity is going to give me the natural log of 1 minus 1 over 2x uh, plus other terms. Okay? But since I'm interested only in small values, I can take only this part here. Or I can take them if I want to. Okay, uh, so let's keep it like this. Okay, let's keep it like this. So this is this quantity here is the same as this one here. When x is small. So here, now what they can do is, I know that uh, if x is small, then this quantity, this one is the same as minus. Uh, uh, x over 2. Okay? So if we do it here, and we take the limit, we're going to see that this part here is the same as this one. We're going to get 1. These two are the same. Therefore, I have this limit here. So the, the limit as x goes to 0 of uh, e to 1 over x the natural log of 1 plus the integral between 0 and x of cosine t minus 1 over t squared dt is the same as the limit as x goes to 0 of e to 1x times minus uh, uh, x over 2 plus other terms. Okay, plus other powers of x, of, of 2, 3, and 4. So we don't care about these powers because we they're going to go to 0 anyway. Here, when I take the limit here, so this is going to be e to minus 1 half. Okay, that means 1 over uh, e to 1 half. That means 1 over the square root of a. Okay, so this is my limit. You can expand these terms and keep them if you want. But once you get to the limit, you will see that it's uh, uh, it's going to be zero. Okay. Remember here that uh, uh, the limit of one minus x over minus x. Okay. So here, uh, as x goes to zero, is what exactly? So this is what we use here. Okay. So this is one. So this is the key idea, okay, to finding this uh, limit. The aim was to find the value. We have skipped many steps that we could have explained, but we know them, okay? So we know this one, the, 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 the cosine in series when x is small, uh, the, the natural log in series when x is small, this equivalent statement here when x is small, and all that. So if you don't see them, you can prove them very easily, okay? So uh, one, one, one key idea is that uh, 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 this one, something, something like this, we can prove it either using the definition or using L'Hopital's very quickly, okay? Anyways, uh, so this is the value that we need. If you see any, I didn't correct this one. If you see any errors or mistakes, please let me know. Thank you.